Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you tonight for a track review that I just got done listening to. And this is for Kanye West featuring Travis Scott, Wash Us in the Blood, that I just got done listening to, like I said. So I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for this track and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, there is a message behind it, but I don't think I should go into detail about it. It does talk about racism. A uh, mm, little bit of this track kind of does. But it kind of is a radical song. And what did I think of it overall? Um, it's not bad. Is it the best thing I heard in 2020? Eh, it's not bad. It... I think production wise sorry I had a yawn spur for a second <laughs> production wise it kind of relies on the electronics in this song and gets really loud with most of the song <laughs> and very noisy at the same time but no I didn't hate this one it's Probably Kanye's best track that he's released in a while. Uh, I saw Anthony Fantano's review on this. And I thought he did a good job on reviewing it. Um, yeah. It, I kind of agree with him. He kind of is going back to the Yeezus days or whatever. I'm agreeing with Anthony Fantano on this, and I can agree with that, but production-wise, it's not a bad track. Ugh, I'm getting really tired, I gotta go to bed soon anyway, <laughs> but I just wanted to come at you for this track review, uh, just to let you guys know on my thoughts on this new Kanye West song. I think Travis Scott probably wouldn't have been the best feature to be put on here, but because he has that auto-tune electronic, auto-tune voice in the song, and I don't know if that sounds really good. Uh, I'd have to hear this song a couple more times to get my actual perspective on it, but um, where my loyalties lie with this song mostly. I've, I have already know what I'm going to rate it, but I'll tell you in a second. Um, there are... <clears throat> Sorry, I almost thought my voice was cracking up. Uh, there are some elements in the song that I don't know do very well. But for the most part, it's not a bad song. I think it could have done slightly better, but it's kind of a raw song. It definitely goes crazy with this. And the video I saw too, it showed in the beginning, you see this cop or whatever, and it just, something happens where they're telling him to get back or whatever or something. But out of five, I'll give this a 3.5 out of five. It's an average track. It's nothing bad. I didn't hate this track. I just felt that there were some noises in the song that I don't know if I can really like. But uh, if you know what the song's about, just comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, um, not your thoughts on it. Just comment below and let me know. Because I don't like going into too much of the whole racism thing. Because uh, I can't identify with it. But I can sympathize with it. But comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Kanye West track. Uh, Wash Us in the Blood. If you've heard it, I almost forgot what the track name was for a moment. And if you like this track review, 
comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. Like I said, I didn't want to go into too much topic about racism because I feel like I would get bashed at about it. Which, it is really wrong. I can... I can't identify with what the black community goes through. But I can definitely sympathize. And... Yeah, it's... It's just been a messed up year for the first half of 2020. I don't know if the second half's going to get better, but yeah, it's just not a good year. Um, I will be returning to you tomorrow for the Falling in Reverse uh, Coming Home Deluxe Edition review. I never got to review the Deluxe Edition for it. It's only like two tracks I'm going to be talking about. But I wanted to wait to do this coming up video for tomorrow. Because the guitarist from Falling in Reverse passed away back in April. Late April. And it was pretty sad. But I just didn't want to make a video where I probably would have bashed them or whatever. But... Uh, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on what I think of the deluxe edition for coming home tomorrow on tomorrow's video. So definitely check that out and stay on alert for that because I think you might like it. I don't know if you will, but anyways, I've been talking for a little while, so I got to go to bed very shortly. But I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Um, and if you like this video, like I said, comment below and let me know what you thought of it. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.